It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Atlanta Falcons, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us down south to Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the west side of downtown Atlanta. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, matchup with a couple teams, Greg, with one big thing in common, a new head coach from a season ago. These are always the seasons we want to see how they play out, how they can implement their plan. we go here in Atlanta and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Seahawks come on and that means it's Keto Smith what a story he's been real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL came out to Seattle backed up Russell Wilson the last three years Greg he has been the starter and he runs this Seattle offense now you just can't say enough about Geno and his turnaround over the last couple of years, Mike. I mean, many thought he was destined to just be a career backup and just play out the rest of his career. I mean, things didn't play out at first. Instead of just listening to those doubters, he just kept working on his craft. And next thing you know, he gets an opportunity with a new team, makes the most of it, and he's now solidified himself as a bona fide franchise quarterback in this league. They'll come up here on second down and five. Once again, it's Walker. He'll have a first down as he gets this up close to the 40-yard line. the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role and listen I know I'm biased but if you want to have a good passing game you better have a good tight end from the 35 it's first and 10 on play action Smith a good throw there but not on the same page with his target that's incomplete. He was seeking the veteran Tyler Lockett there. And it'll bring up second down. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, and then become a run. Still a little work to do now on third down. They'll try and run it with Walker. And they bring him down to 23, but that will do just fine. Move the chains. First down picked up.
From the gun, it's Gina. Complete to the former Buckeye, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Second down, Smith. play this opening drive trying to keep it going here on third down from the shotgun it's smith this one complete to his tight end fan and it looks like he's gonna have the first down what great work after the catch to extend the drive not every pass has to be thrown downfield you can rely on the run after catch especially a big body like this tight end get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. They'll motion over Metcalf. Gino now on first and 10. Throw on the run is complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. And he gets out wide. He'll go to the end zone. Kenneth Walker. Touchdown, Seahawks. And Greg, that is the way you love to start one of those games. Get off the bus, get on the field, get in the end zone. The road team with the first six of this one. And you can just see, Mike, it takes a lot of the air out of the stadium. And this crowd, they're fired up, started the game, trying to make their presence felt. And the opposing team goes all the way down for an opening drive touchdown. That's an ideal way to start when you find yourself on the road. Jason Myers on to attempt the extra point. The kick is good. And the Seahawks will take a 7-0 lead. season Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency he had six years in Washington the last six in Minnesota and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons I had a coach tell me earlier in my career Mike specifically about the quarterback position if you don't have fast feet you better have a fast mind and here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center he has seen a lot of football and while he might not be as mobile he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career that experience behind center that experience being in these moments before man having that quick mind there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen now a second down throw for cousins he's got this to be john robinson Get about six before he's taken down. 
So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Now the second-year man out of Texas. He's on Robinson. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Contact up front. And they get one of the defenders to jump. Second down, Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. They're able to get the third down conversion. Mooney in motion. Play action now. It's Cousins. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. Not able to stay in. He steps out of bounds, and that'll be a loss of a couple of yards on that one. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. play went the wrong way it sets up second along it's second down and 12 from the shotgun it's Cousins in trouble and down he goes sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down he has pressure coming right at him and instead of just throwing the ball away he tries to escape he tries to get creative and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That's caught right side. It's London. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. So that'll bring up fourth down, and here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punch it away. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready now for their second drive. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. The 
This drive starts on the ground with Walker. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Smith, quick run to Metcalf. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Now. Oh, they are on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. Sometimes these games in the NFL, like, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get stripped sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and we'll see if they can dodge this bullet. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Press coming. Looks like there was movement on the right side of the old line. Just keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. When you're backed up, it's second in a mile. There's not a lot of great options. What you're trying to do is pick up half. Give yourself a chance on third down to extend this drive. That's exactly what they did here, keeping the ball on the ground. and sets up third down. Smith from the gun on third down. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold them to just a short game. So on fourth down, on comes Michael Dixon to punt. Ray Ray McLeod, deep to return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Falcons offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Motion the slot man left. Off the play fake. Here's Cousins. Play left side, but that's going to be incomplete. You talk about quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I can promise you, they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. They go play action with Cousins. Left side in the hands of London. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. One quarter in the books. Seven nothing is our score. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now, Cousins. Good look, London's way again. It's complete again. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line.
Cousins now to throw on first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. A quick throw here, going to be taken by Lundy. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon and frankly I don't blame them I mean they're riding the hot hand and rightfully so until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again he's on Robinson the intended receiver out of the backfield and it's going to be third down they went for it all on that one and just a little bit off ball winds up hitting the ground they've got to move forward the opportunities are out there Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. That's the two. He's in. Touchdown, Falcons. think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Young Way Koo now for the extra point. He's got it. Will level things out at seven apiece. for the kickoff. On the return, it's LaVisca Chenault. <clears throat> Get across the 20, mark him at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. you should and you let it slip away he's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not and be taken down there let's give a lot of credit to the defensive plan that this coaching staff has come up with coming into today's game every time it seems like the offense makes an adjustment the defense counter punches different looks different fronts different pressure packages They've had all the answers so far, and the sacks just keep piling up. The task now, a really tough one. 
third and very long. From the shotgun, Smith. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. McLeod to return. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. Here's Walker. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Nice combination of vision, patience, and speed by the running back here. The vision to see the hole, the patience to let the blocks unfold, and then the speed to hit it and pick up a nice game. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. On the handoff, this is Walker. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. On the ground it's Walker. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go, right? We ask these running backs, Mike, to do a lot of work, find space, create something out of nothing. Well, this time, he was able to create nothing out of nothing. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Lockett headed in motion. We'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. Still going. And he will not make it to the end zone, but he's down inside the five-yard line. In this coverage breakdown, Mike, it's just completely unacceptable. You come out and dime defense. What that means is you have six defensive backs and only one linebacker most often. To the defensive coordinator, what he's saying is we might give up some yards on the ground, but we are going to be very efficient and effective shutting down the passing game. So for the offense to find an open receiver with that much space to operate, you just have to imagine there was some sort of breakdown of communication and execution because he had a lot of room to operate and that defensive coordinator is not happy you find yourself as a play caller saying all right i only gotta get one yard and i got multiple plays to do it what you don't plan for is all of a sudden you're going to go backwards and it changes the entire approach and frankly the entire play call sheet that you have to draw from they try to set up the screen but this one doomed from the start it's incomplete Can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? From the pistol, Smith. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. The sideline erupted. They thought that was an easy six, but instead, it was nothing but disappointment. I mean, that is a gut-wrenching missed opportunity for the offense, and he has his head down just in disbelief. kick is good 
And the Seahawks will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So Myers back out there. Had the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. McLeod now to return. And they will finally track him down, not before he takes this to the other side of midfield. The Falcons offense race, see what they can do with this next possession. They'll start from the plus side of midfield, looking to possibly take the lead here. It's first and ten. Come up on a second down and eight. Now, Cousins. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And that is incomplete. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has here's Bradley Pinion now and he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt and we will not have a return here this one angled out of bounds the Seahawks offense and Kenneth Walker ready to take over once more and he's been a big component of the passing game so far you see the numbers here in the first half this defense will need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating him up right now. They'll come up here first and ten. Gino to throw. Over the middle, Metcalf has it. And he's going to be brought down up past the 20. First down, here's Gino to throw. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, Smith. Connected with the tight end. That's bad. Here's third down and a few inches. Off the play fake. Ed Smith. That'll be caught. It's Metcalf. They will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I love this decision here, Mike. Third and inches. Everyone in the building's just thinking you're going to just plow it up the middle and get a fresh set of downs. This is probably the best opportunity to strike downfield in the passing game, and that's exactly what they did. It's 
Jaden Smith. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. to 10 it is going to be first and goal and this offense is now really on the move mike and it's the passing game that's leading the way they've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon if i'm this play caller i'm continuing to lead on this not only in this drive but probably for the rest of this game now a chance to pay off that big play they have it first and goal from the gun, it's Gina. That is caught. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Number one, second in goal. They'll run with Walker. A second effort, and he is in. Kenneth Walker, touchdown Seattle. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Now the point after trial from Myers. He gets it to go. And the Seahawks will get out in front 17-7. to To the TD. Myers comes on now to kick it away. McLeod now to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as this drive starts first and 10. his cousins. He'll get this to the four bear Darnell Mooney. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being completed. Now a third and two. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Open man is Mooney. He's got it. Now a timeout. Let's go first. And then with a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. <laughs> to 
to throw is Cousins. That's into the hands of Werner, the tight end. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Cousins. It's good for a Falcon first down. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting to third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball down the field. And when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and half plays, that's when an offense is really firing. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Here's Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackles meet here at the three-yard line. Nice grab there by Mooney. And plays like this are really the main reason why the Falcons made it a point to sign him this offseason. I mean, his talent has always been undeniable. He just has to find a way to stay on the field and prove it. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. On is Coop for the point after. His kick is good. And the Falcons are back to within a field goal in 17 14. to go now on first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. Richie Grant up in the secondary to get in on that one. So we've reached halftime and the visiting Seahawks are out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for the former Spartan, Kenneth Walker. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Three points. All that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. McLeod now to return. 
And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. There's Kirk Cousins. He and the Falcons set for their next drop. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. It was Kayvon Wallace there to make the tackle. They face second down and seven. They'll go again with Robinson. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Throwing now, Cousins. And this ball incomplete on third down. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. Your turn is Williams. He'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. The Seahawks offense, and they're running back, getting ready to go back to work. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. start the drive and a nice run there he'll be stopped just shy of a first down a pickup of nine you know we spend a lot of time praising the running backs and deservingly so but oftentimes it's a combination of the scheme and the big guys up front who make it work and that's exactly what we saw here on the big pickup on second down Smith this one complete to his tight end fan. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Two defenders in the area, Mike, but it just doesn't seem to matter. This is an offense that continually trusts their guys to make big plays regardless of the coverage. And they're able to pick up a fresh set of downs because of it. First and ten. Down, Gino. Quickly to the outside and complete. Second and a yard. Straight ahead, it's Walker. Keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice game of five. They'll motion over Metcalf. Gino now on first and ten. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, 
Not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. Slot man in motion left. A first down throw for Smith. He's got it inside the five. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same. And he will take it in himself. Geno Smith, touchdown Seahawks. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. Myers now to add the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Seahawks go up by 10. 24 to 14 is their lead. To the TD. Myers comes on now to kick it away. Avery Williams on the return. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40 yard line. The Falcons offense ready to see what they can do. The deficit is 10, 24 to 14. So work to do as they come up for first and 10. Cousins going to throw. That'll be caught by McLeod. Nice game on first down, but the penalty flags come in. And the question now, will the play stand? to throw and it's complete to the sideline nice job getting both feet down in bounds this is why the timing of these routes is so critical if that ball is thrown a little bit later he's unable to keep his feet in bounds but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Second down. Cousins. Left side. In the hands of the London. seems to have worked they've come out with a new established energy you could see it when they took the field now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game but so far off to a good start that's complete to McLeod that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight Come to the line now on second and two. Oh, 
they'll run with Robinson. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. The backfield empty here for third and two. Now, Cousins. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. The Falcons getting their puncher out there. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The visitors' offense and their running back set to go once more. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. A couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. To throw, Smith. He keeps it himself. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. So often the best pass defense is a good pass rush. And that's exactly what we saw here. The pass rush disrupted this play from the very start. The quarterback has all of his attention on the rushers rather than his receivers downfield. All he can manage to do is get back to the original line of scrimmage. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. Big Brady Jack shuts it down. Third and nine. From the shotgun, Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. 11 yards on the pass there. First down, Seattle. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. On the bootleg. It's Smith. Connected with the tight end. That's Fant. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Here's a handoff to Walker. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Don't need much. It is third and inches. On the bootleg, it's Smith. That'll be caught. It's Metcalf. They get 12 yards on that pass. It's good for a Seahawks first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. 
taking it down. This one is caught. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. A running back that can be used in the passing game is a handful for these defenses. And you can tell this offense, they're not shy getting this guy the ball. And I think the rest of this game, they're going to continue to see, hey, defense, do you have an answer for this guy? They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Play action now. It's Gino. Get that one to Charbonnet. Complete. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Smith in Jigba, the man in motion. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. And he's going to be stopped here for no game. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of action. a must stop for this defense facing third and long he'll go right and find his running back he'll gain some yardage here but that is not nearly enough for the first down it's going to bring up fourth down really well done here by the defense Mike executing this zone defense and they've got to be able to pattern read you're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. McLeod now to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Falcons offense about ready to take over once more. To try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Mooney in motion. He'll run. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop him behind the line again. Just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense. Just unable to get anything going on the ground. And a big reason they find themselves trailing and another loss of yards. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up.
Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins out of the gun on third down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors offense, Geno Smith, getting ready for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He has Rocket over the middle. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Working out of the gun, Smith. That's dropped off for Walker. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. Smith in Jigba, the man in motion. Quick throw, taken in, and they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. From the gun, it's Gina. He'll look middle, and he's got his man. Complete. It's a gain of 19 in the air. First down, Seattle. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. They run with Walker. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. They'll go play action. It's Smith. That one, oh, it's on target, but... It goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. Now a deep ball for the end zone. That is going to be home in. He's got it. D.K. Metcalf. Touchdown, Seattle. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit.
Smith and the Seahawks will go for two here. Gino to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. Everybody's looking to end every drive with six, but when you can turn that six into eight, man, what a confidence boost coming off the field, and they're going to force their opponent now to start chasing. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. McLeod now to return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The whole team's offense getting set to get back to work. They'll start it here with a first and ten. the shotgun. It's Cousins. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Cousins now on second down. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He'll get this to McLeod. He will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. They go play action with Cousin. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 15 yards to pick up. Good for a first down. They'll come up here first and 10. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Play action now. It's Cousins. We'll get this to Pitts once more. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but... You still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, 
And I can promise you, it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. It'll take this ahead for a gain of about five, and here comes third down. To throw is Cousins. That one, take it in. Darnell Mooney, touchdown Falcons. Here's Coop for the extra point. It's up and through. And Falcons back with a couple scores. It's 35-21. more as the kicks away on the return it's Chenault and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag nothing they have tried to throw at them has been successful he just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Off the play pick, Smith. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial win. They're going to get him down behind the line. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back-end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the shotgun, Smith. A high throw there, but a nice job to go up and get it. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. They go play action with Smith. And what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage, and that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. That is not the way. Incomplete. Good coverage there. Defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. Nice job there by the defense. 
defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. That's complete to McLeod. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They come to the line for this one. Third down, needing three. Throwing his Cousins. That one is down away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, and lead to some easier and better completions. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. As this defense a little too loose there, giving up 19 yards on fourth down. They'll drop to throw. Open man downfield. That's London. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. Cousins going to throw. Well, broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it. Continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running, there is a lot of space open underneath. That's um, the veteran, Jake Matthews. Second down, Cousins. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Going to need a big play now. Third down and long. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. The Seahawks offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. Walker, room to run at the 35. And finally, they'll bring him down, but he's up beyond the 45-yard line. There's the three tight ends here on first and ten. Once 
once again, it's Walker. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Here's first and ten. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Seahawks. They were forced to travel cross country. They get the early start. 10 a.m. on their body clocks. They're happy now. They come away with the victory. <laughs> 